Welcome back to Houston Live. From the Astros to the Texans to the Dynamo, Dash, and more, many of Houston's greatest athletes will be celebrated under one roof coming up next Tuesday at the 2024 Houston Sports Awards. Pitcher Lance McCullers Jr. will be the host for the evening, and I caught up with him ahead of his exciting gig to see how he's getting ready. Well, you guys, if you haven't heard, the biggest night here with Houston Sports is happening next Tuesday at 713 Music Hall. It is the Houston Sports Awards and the seventh annual this guy right here, Lance McCullers Jr., going to be hosting the big event. We are so excited for you. I have to ask really quickly, Alex Bregman hosted last year. He did, yeah. Did he give you any notes as you take over the reins this year? He hasn't, but I'm, I think I'll probably ask him because I, I haven't been nervous for the event. But I was getting closer. Like the other day, they asked me to write my monologue, and I was like, I have to write a monologue. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I need to hire somebody. They're like, to Yeah, do that. you need like a four to five minute opening monologue. I'm like, Wow, okay. Whoa, so I am um, not there. we're, you know, we're starting to get in the groove of yeah. things. It's got my suit, and everything's starting to fall into place. Okay, so, so I got to ask because this is always a fun game to play. Uh, we love to see you guys all dressed up yep. because we only see you in uniforms typically, for most of the yeah, year, typically. right? So, how do you go when you pick a, a suit? What are you going to be wearing? I'm trying to go for like a play on classic but okay. it's not going to be like your classic like tuxedo okay um but i'm trying to still kind of give off like those like dark vibes and do you have an outfit change i don't oh okay yeah. that's good to know i don't okay that takes did Bregman out have an outfit change i don't know did alex have a, i don't know they're running through my schedule and they were like you go to the back and come back out you go to the back and come yeah. back out and i was like no, yeah, okay. no yeah. Yeah, definitely no off Forget change, it. no time for that. Forget it. Well, the inductees this year are some of the biggest names. Warren Moon, Cynthia Cooper, Lance Berkman. These are people that I know you growing up Absolutely, yeah. idolized. Absolutely. Is this the coolest to be able to like introduce them into the Hall of Fame? It's really cool. And um, Lance uh, Berkman especially, I just was a big baseball fan, of course, growing up. Um, when he was with the Astros, um, probably I watched him play the most when he was with the Cardinals. And, um, you know, obviously we have the same first name, and our wives share the first name. It's kind of wait, funny. Wait, wait, they really do? Yeah. I didn't yeah. know that his name, his wife's name is Kara. His wife's name is Kara. No yep. way. Yeah, one day we were talking, it was actually during COVID, because I was throwing bullpens. Mm -hmm. And he was nice enough to come out to the place I was throwing bullpens and watch me throw. And, you know, he was just kind of telling me what he would see yeah. from his perspective. And I'm, he mentioned his, uh, he said Kara. And I was like, how do you know my wife's name? And he's like, no, that's my wife's name. Stop and I was like, it. Yeah, so. Wow. Um, but, you know, I know him the best of, of, of the group. But, I mean, Warren Moon, absolute legend. I think a lot of the... Um, a lot of Oilers team may be coming. I don't know if that was a spoiler or not, but or like, I'm sorry, not a spoiler, but like maybe a, a, a you know, a sneak peek. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be a really great night. I think it kind of embodies, you know, you know, the city of Houston, the whole night, kind of the people they're bringing, the performances, people that they're, that they're, they're honoring that night. So I'm, I'm very excited. This is such a great event for the community, which, by the way, this is the first year that the public are invited. Yep. So I'm so excited for a lot of our viewers who are insiders who get to go and just the general public because you never know who's going to show up on the red carpet. Like yeah. there's going to be some big names. Are you excited for anybody in particular you haven't met yet? No, I mean, my goal is to make it to the red carpet on time. Um, <laughs> that's a Kara, big goal. Kara, we need your wife, yeah, Kara, that's to a big goal. on they, time, They okay. said it opens at 4.30. I said, that's kind of early. <laughs> um, so, you know, try to get there by like 5. And um, it's going to be just, like I said, a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward to it. And like you said, you never, you never really know who's going to show up. Yeah. Um, they're still, you know, trying. They had some things up their sleeves. They're, they're trying to pull off. So. Uh, it's going to be really exciting. I love it. It's such a fun event. And speaking of your wife, Kara, I thought what we would do today would I would have lattes with Lance, maybe martinis with yes. McCuller. Hey, there we go. I like yeah, that. Like it. With our Maven coffee. <laughs> but I thought that I would pitch you some fun questions. Okay. Hey. You're killing it. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd have a little fun just as you get ready. All right, all right. Because your wife just had a baby, congratulations. Yeah, How's everybody ago. doing? Everyone's great. I think Kara's going to come to the event. Good. So since you are now girl dad to two beautiful babies, right. what is on the playlist in the car, in the McCullers car? Oh, man. Uh, Barbie Mermaids <laughs> is, a, is a fun one. Um, Netflix has all these different variations of Barbie shows. Okay. And so Barbie Mermaids has been a heavy playlist. Yeah. Um, she likes Taylor Swift, who doesn't? Um, I've tried to get her to like some, you know, Calvin Harris and David yeah. Guetta to try to break it up a little bit. No, so, it's always bad. So right now what we're doing is I get to pick one, Ava gets to pick one. <laughs> I get to pick one, Andy gets to pick one. Is it the same with TV shows? Is it a lot of Bluey and Coco Melon and Encanto and, yeah. and all the a lot princesses? Of the, yeah, a lot of the princess. She wears princess dress every day of the week. Yeah. She rotates through the oh, mall. Yeah. We do the uh, we do a we do the whole aerial story 
with all the things. We have different scenes. <laughs> So we'll do like all the opening scenes and I, I play almost every part. She only plays Ariel. Okay. So lucky her. Of course. Um, but I have to play King Trident. I have to play King, Flounder, uh, Flounder Sebastian. Sebastian, Ursula. She makes, she, makes, she makes you sing the entire song. I'm not even kidding. Um, so it's, it's, it's so a lot of fun. So you're very familiar with Poor Unfortunate Souls. Very, yes. I could probably rip it out off. I could do that for my monologue. <laughs> We're going to see Lance perform some of Little Mermaid. If you don't go as Ursula for Halloween next year, it's a total miss. Now, this year we were the Beast and Belle. Oh, yes. Yeah, so course. next year we'll have to find a way to incorporate all, all four of us. That's amazing. All right, back to the award show. How long is it going to take you to get ready? If they give you a 4.30 call time, what time are you starting to get ready? Um, well, assuming I'm going to get there at 4.30. <laughs> So if I leave the house like 4.10? No, you can't. You cannot <laughs> leave the house at 4.10, Lance. You have to be on time. Yeah, 410, leave the house, be there at 430. Oh, gosh. That's such guy math. That's um, such guy math. No, it's plenty of time. Um, I don't know, maybe like 30 minutes before. 30 minutes before. Yeah, 40 that is 45. so unfair. I don't want to get my, stu my stuff wrinkled. <laughs> of course not. In the car <laughs> on the way there. Yeah. Well, cheers with our Maven coffee and cocktails. Cheers. Thank you so much, Lance. We're so excited for you. And you guys can join us. Click to Houston.com if you want to buy your ticket. Be an insider. Come see this guy walk down the red carpet and all of the other Houston athletes who have done so many great things. It's going to be a huge night in sports. If he is late, you guys will know why, because he's only going to get himself 30 minutes to get there. We are so thrilled to see Lance host a big event and all that he's going to bring to the show next week. So go ahead and break a leg. And you can get the exclusive opportunity to, to attend the Houston Sports Awards at 713 Music Hall on Tuesday, January 30th. Just scan that QR code on your screen to purchase those tickets. And our insider tickets do come with some pretty great perks. You'll get access to our wine garden, red carpet viewing area, and and of course, you do get a seat inside 713 Music Hall to watch the Houston Sports Awards in person. We're all going to be there, and we're all over 21. The event is 21 and up only. You have to sign up to be a KPRC2 Insider. Tickets are $75 each. You've got to figure out what to wear. I know. I feel all this pressure now that we yeah. talked to him. I mean, you, Lauren. Uh, okay. Ariel. Little Ariel Mermaid. and Ursula. Hello, we'll King talk. Triton. That's it. Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs>